Out there was Z, then it's T, and it's P, and at the center position. Clark, the pass to Z. Out to the wing. Here's T. Second shot opportunity, and the layup is good. P's got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for Virginia. And that'll start us off already. You can feel the tension in this arena. Boy, I tell you, you're right. You can feel this one looking like it's going to be a tight one throughout. Johnson with a screen on Clark. Here's D, drilled from 11 feet out. Well, and this must be a time of year when teams are still working on their chemistry, Clark. Everybody getting comfortable with their roles. Well, you know, Kevin, you would hope that being comfortable and having good chemistry would be a given by now, even though it's still early. There's not a ton of time for the feeling out process in the NBA because the games come so rapid. Such a wide open look. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Johnson outside. It's intercepted. Here's Jay, and he goes in for the dunk. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. 16 feet away. He can't get it to go. And it's four to the other way. Pass to Lewis. From deep. And once again off the mark by Ford. Cavaliers have gone three or five shooting the ball so far. High arcing shot. They grab their own miss. Count that bucket. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You gotta work harder on the glass. Pass to Johnson. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Comes up empty down low. The Cavaliers have gone four of seven from the field, shooting over 50%. Fires it up. Here's P. And it's Florida with the rebound. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. B, the pass to Johnson. Clark right side. Another three for Virginia. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. So timeout called here, the first for four. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Always interesting to check out the first-year stars of the NBA, and on that list are the rookies who have been almost automatic from the field this past month. And you look at P, fourth in the league and as consistent as they come. D passes to Lewis. D, he's covered by Clark, and it's tonight. First quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Here's Jay, 
Bank shot, no good. Florida trails by 10. Passes it to Johnson. Kicks to Lewis. They need this. It's deflected. Clark outside. Offensive rebound. A fadeaway. Yep, that one goes in there. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Cavaliers. Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively, blocking shots. A key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is working hard on the offensive glass. They've had a number of putbacks. And it seems as if someone got their signals crossed if he can wind up that open from three-point range. I'm sure that was not a part of the game plan. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. And, you know, that involves pounding it inside, getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. Greg is a point guard. What is it you like to see from that position on the floor? I think first and foremost, leadership. Uh, it, it's so valuable at that spot. And, you know, you, you, you always got to have your head high because your teammates are feeding off what you put forth in terms of your body language and enthusiasm. So, you know, the typical stuff about organizing the offense and, and setting the tone on the defensive end, that stuff's important as well. But so much of how you carry yourself on the floor when you deal with adversity and you know that you're going to it, it is really paramount. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. The pass to T. Here's P, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with Hunt blazing. To the wing on the left. Here's B. That one's not going to go. Cavaliers go the other way with it. Throws it up high. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Boy, I tell you what, guys. This is really getting close to being real ugly. And the foul on P. That's his first foul. Now a timeout, timeout called by four. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Some changes for Virginia. Z's check in for Jay. Jay comes in for T. And Jay's subbed in for Clark. A big group substitution here for Florida. T's checked in for D. B comes in for B. Z's check in for B. And B's subbed in for D. Here's Johnson. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him.
last a man. And there's a whistle. That goes on Z. That's his first foul. Man passes to T. Florida moving that ball around. And how about the stingy defense there to deny that pass? Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and the other team in scramble mode. Here's Man. Plays it up off the glass. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Passes it to Jay. Private goal. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. My goodness. Oh, that's an old-fashioned rim rattle. Just a remarkable gem. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. Platinum-level highlight reel material. That is showtime stuff there. Man can hit. Virginia leading by 17 to the inside. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. He's got 10 points. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Here's Mann. Pass to Johnson. It's tipped. There's the screen. Jay, the pass to beat. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Just playing with poise and confidence. And they continue to put points on the board. Well, I like the way they're playing. A very smart first half. Quality shots, not wasting possessions. Man passes to Z. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. We've got 118 left in the first. And Jay gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. D, he's checked in for Z. Here's B, and he banks in the layup. This is why I love his game. You really have to admire his tenacity. 58 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Here's Jay. It's deflected. Here's Mann. He feeds it to Johnson. The pass to Jay. And a missed layup. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Florida. Trailing by 17. Here's Mann. to Johnson. Second chance shot. And so it's Virginia. Out in front by 17 points at the end of the quarter. They've kept the tempo quick and the defense on its heels. And it's gotten them up big. We come back right after this. so far through one quarter it's been a lopsided game we'll see if that changes here in the second and from what we've seen from the Cavaliers what do you guys see well you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively well you know the defense guys is just disruptive active and energetic and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys 
Florida trails by 17. And a moment now to reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the floor for Virginia. Clark is out there with D. Then there's J. Then it's P. And it's Z at the power forward. D passes to P. But they get it back. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. And you know what? That tells the story in a lot of games, guys. And here you go. It's telling the story tonight, too. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. And he's got his first chance at the line here. T's checked in for Virginia. What's up? Your son, Cole Gregg, was one of the top high school players in America. A lot of services had him number one. Talk about what it was like going through the recruiting process as a dad. You know, it was, it was fun for the most part because he really kind of kept everything in perspective. Uh, and the teams we dealt with, the schools we dealt with, man, they were all top notch. So that process, about as enjoyable as one could ask for. But at the same time, it's still stressful, man. That's still your little guy getting ready to head off to college. Well, you're a dad and a proud one at that. Clark for three. And it's Florida with the rebound. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. D passes to T. And here is Lewis. Puts it up from 12. And that one hits back iron. The Cavaliers leading by 20. Pass to P. There's the triple. In it goes for the eighth time in 10 tries. And he has his fingerprints all over this first half. He is just shooting it so efficiently. Z's checked in for Z. Cavaliers have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Here's Clark. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. And once again off the mark by Florida. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Now the pass to Z. And for those of you just joining us, we're in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, my man is going for the jugular. Well, he only plays one way, and that's um, full throttle, all day, all the time, cold-blooded and lethal. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, just nice strength there, and then just off with the shot. Boy, with all the contact he drew there, that would have been a heck of a bucket. He nearly got it to go. Florida shooting their first free throws of the evening. And he makes the first. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, we know the TV networks have brought more revenue, Greg, to the NBA. The expectation is for another bump when they renegotiate in 2023. You know, at the same time, though, Kevin, with all the cord cutters out there, 
the league looking to make the game more accessible to those fans. I expect that to be a big part of this next deal. Right, on your tablet, your smartphone, or your computer. Mm -hmm. Here's Clark. 11 point game is last outing. Pass to Z. Passes it to T. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. D. He's covered by Clark. D. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. And he knocks down the first one. And didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. Tease checked in for Virginia. So he picks up just one from the line that time. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. And we know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley-oop. Yeah, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. And it all had to be because that's not nearly as easy as they made it appear. He gets it in there. You know, he started the game knocking down shots, guys. And now in the second quarter, he's taking it to another level. There's the pass to Z. Pass to P. Clark outside. Three-pointer. Another three for Virginia. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Here's D inside. Picked him clean. Deflects the pass. D passes to T. Here's B. No good on the triple and a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Virginia working the ball around. Puts up a three. Sinks the three-pointer. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. For Florida, they've gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. D. He's covered by Clark. He takes it in, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Florida shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Two. Two. The first free throw is good. And the Cavaliers with some changes. D, he's checked in for T. J comes in for T. And J subbed in for Clark. Florida also changing it up. Johnson, he's checked in for T. B comes in for B. And Z subbed in for B. Good on both. And for Virginia, they're shooting 69%, showing you what a well-oiled offense looks like tonight. P passes to J. Passes to D. The pass to P. D 
D passes to P. Will not go down. It's number three on 12 tries from the floor. Pass to D. To the right side. Pass to Johnson. It's good. He scores. That's his first basket after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Florida. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Minnesota where they'll take on the Timberwolves. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Count it. His second make in four attempts. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. And there's a whistle. That goes on Z. That's his first foul. Z's checked in for the Cavaliers. And Florida with the change here, too. B's checked in for D. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. J, the pass to Z. Here's Jay. Cranes it from beyond the arc. Jay's got to get his second bucket of the night. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. That's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Johnson up top. Passes it to B. Here's Mann. Fires the three. That one, no good. Mann's gone one of three on the night. D passes to Z. Here's J. Off target from three-point range. For Florida, they've gone five of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. 105 left in the first half of basketball. Here's Johnson. And no good that time. And Virginia going the other way now. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of Florida this year. Traps in the tray. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Here's Z. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. One shot. One shot. You. And for the Cavaliers, they're shooting an impressive 65% having their way with this defense. Z the pass to J. Off with the layup. Just tentative in the paint, lacking a little bit of confidence allowed the defender to recover and contest that shot. Johnson with it. Here's D. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. How about the perseverance there, the extra effort on that offensive glass? And so it's Virginia rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. Looks like this could be an upset in the making. I'm Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. For the Cavaliers, Kenny, how'd you feel about it? What a brilliant, unselfish half of basketball they just played. Their ball movement was absolutely impeccable. 
All in all, just beautiful basketball to watch. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. Sloppy ball, way too many wasted possessions, chucking up threes, missing them. I could hit more threes than that, Ernie. I hope they're talking right now about getting the ball inside because that's what it's going to take. If they were hitting more threes, that would be a different story. But if if was a fifth, Ernie, you know the rest. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. A fantastic game from P in this one. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. And after a very lopsided first half, We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. On the court for Ford, we've got B, D out there with Johnson. Then it's D, and it's B in at the two guard. D, he's covered by Clark. Count it, good. D's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for Ford. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. And the pass to T. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Flattening the lottery odds, Greg. Do you think that's worked out as intended? You don't hear as many predictions about who's going to get the one pick or the second pick. I think that's good for the players and the fans. You don't want anyone rooting for you to lose. No, absolutely not. He's off on the first. He hits the second from the line. D. He's covered by Clark. Here's B. Hits the three-point bomb. B's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. It's good. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Kicks to Lewis. Pass to D. Johnson outside. Passes it to D. Florida moving that ball around. B the pass to Johnson. The Cavaliers pull it in. P's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Back to Clark. Here's P, and he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. So it's Florida now. The Cavaliers making the shot. D. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And doing some dirty work on the offensive glass. And then follows it up, Greg, with heavy-duty jam on his mind with a terrific putback. Got a pigeon on that one. Easy money right there, fellas. Going old school on you, young fellas. Look that up, pigeon. For Florida, they've gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The NBA continues to build international academies to develop prospects from other countries. Already, academy graduates are playing Division I college basketball. And before long, NBA players should start emerging from that pipeline. 
He continues to reach out to find overlooked youngsters who have a gift and give them the opportunity. Guys? Outstanding, David. Thank you. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. Incredible, incredible body control right there. Don't know how he was able to get that one to go, but it sure was a thing of beauty to watch. T's checked in for T. And Florida with the change here, too. T's checked in for D. And that one misses. Florida shooting 43% for the game. And there's the pass to T. He kicks to Lewis. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Pass to D. Johnson the screen. Always oh, going up for the alley oop here. T. He's guarded by Johnson. T. The pass to Clark. Stolen by Lewis. Passes it to T. Let's it go with a three. Sinks the triple. T's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Yeah, it's such a sweet three-point stroke there, and it can really open things up inside because as good as he shoots it, it forces the opposing bigs to have to step out on the perimeter. Plays it up and banks it in. Eight points for Z. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Johnson outside. Here's T. Got a piece of it. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. The quick look no good that time. For Florida, they've gone 4 of 9 from the floor so far in the third. Johnson, the pass to T. The pass to B. Pass to D. Wide open look. And that one goes long. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. And he gets it back. They get the rebound. Here's T. And finally they hit one. T's got his second bucket of the night. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. The Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Z's checked in for Z. D comes in for J. J's checked in for T. And J's subbed in for Clark. Florida also changing it up. B's checked in for Lewis. Z comes in for B. And B's subbed in for D. Baseline try. That's tipped. Pass to Z. Shoots the three. And it's Florida with the rebound. And the pass to T. Johnson outside. Trying to get something going. And it's Johnson with the jam. 
Uh, and one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Here's T. Uses the glass to finish the layup. T's got five points now this quarter. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. It's good. And that's now seven points for Jane. The defense left him just a little window to get through, and he just ducked in for the layup. Terrific job. Johnson outside. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10. Right at him. Get to the rack. One shot. The Cavaliers leading by 23. J, the pass to Z. Pass to J. Five on the clock. For Florida, they've gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this point, going 7 of 14. Passes it to T. Johnson down low. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Cavaliers have gone 6 of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. Here's Jay. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Cavaliers. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. But also, they put the offense on its heel. Look at the number of steals they've been able to get. And that's something they also can take great pride in. D, he's checked in for Florida. Second free throw, no good. Florida shooting 47% from the field in the third. Man gets the bucket. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Yeah, they've had a great second half from long range. I mean, things are definitely starting to look up for him. And he gets the bucket. 109 left in the third quarter of the game. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. The Cavaliers leading by 23. Jay, the pass to Jay. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. There's 38 seconds left in the third quarter. That shot, no good. And Virginia with possession here. From outside the arc, that one doesn't go. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Johnson surveying the floor. With four seconds on the clock, misses the layup. And so it's Virginia in very good shape with a 23-point lead at the end of the quarter. 
This has been a one-sided matchup, and I don't see any signs of it lessening. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. We've got Z. Z out there with Jay. Then it's T. And it's Clark in at the point guard. Poke loose. Here's Mann. The pass to D. Lewis outside. Hey, Clark, what were your thoughts as a fan watching the bubble play down in Orlando? Did it seem surreal at all to you? It didn't seem surreal, Kevin. I thought it was pulled off quite nicely, as a matter of fact. I mean, the fact there weren't any real fans there for the most part was a little different. But I thought the court looked good. The players were the best in the world, as they always are. I thought the broadcast came across just as it would in a normal circumstance. Um, I didn't find much different about it other than the fact that there weren't tens of thousands of fans in the build. Jay passed to Z. Clark for three. Kept alive. And the layup's good off the glass. And that's now six points for Jay. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. And yes, it's good. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Passes to Z. A shot. No good. Good work defensively by Johnson. Man passes to Johnson. Here's Man. And it's blocked. Greg, after we saw top prospects like LaMelo Ball and R.J. Hampton playing a year in Australia, the NBA G League sweetened the deal to attract those blue chippers to this, uh, to this G League, which I think is a very interesting topic and a, and a very interesting way to go. It, it is. You know, I think the salaries now could exceed a half million dollars, not to mention the endorsement deal. And, they're on a single team that's built around their needs. Certainly an enticing option for those who want to skip the college route. Does this affect colleges, in your opinion, in their recruiting? Not at all. You're going to love your school no matter who plays for them, especially if you're winning. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Now, here's Clark. Not a lot of room. And that one is off. And it's Florida the other way. Johnson outside. There's the pass to Z. And it's off from three-point range. Florida trails by 21. Pass to Lewis. Florida moving that ball around. Here's Mann, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Shooting two. First one falls. 
Greg, last season was kind of a rough one, very turbulent for the NBA, the China controversy, the passing of David Stern, Kobe Bryant, and finally the COVID pandemic. Other than that, <laughs> there were, it was kind of uneventful. Wasn't yeah, it? <laughs> I mean, an incredibly tough year. And, wow. You know, you just go back to March, and who would have ever thought we would go through what we went through? And you talked about all the other issues, David Stern and Kobe both passing. You know, I, I'm just hopeful we get a return to normality because that sounds pretty good right about now. It sure does. He's checked in for B. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. P passes to T. Pass to P. They could use a bucket. The rebound by Johnson. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Florida. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Out to the right wing. Here's D. From outside, off the mark. Virginia leading by 19. Z the pass to T. Here's P. Again, the miss by Virginia. For Florida, they've gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Kicks it to Johnson. There's a good screen. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Johnson's got nine points here in the second half. Wow, has he flipped the switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. Clark outside. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. That one is off. And they're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. That's exactly how you do it. Defender pressing up on you, you press right back. Good on the second free throw. Florida trails by 18. D passes to Lewis. Passes it to D. Mark against Johnson. Here's D. There's three pointers off the mark. The Cavaliers shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. Here's T. Again, the miss by Virginia. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him trying to shut the door on this one. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? The, the defensive awareness, the timing. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Knocks it loose, and it's the Cavaliers with the ball. The pass to Z. Three on three. Here's T. The three-pointer, no good. Virginia leading by 18. Here's T. Connects from three-point range. One thing, Clark, we got to see a glimpse of with the finish of last season in the Orlando campus. 
a playoff play-in. What do you think of that moving forward? You know what? It's an idea that might get some legs, Kevin. Again, some of the things that had to be done in light of COVID-19 and the bubble, a few of those things may actually be kept and apply to more normal circumstances going forward. I love the fatter out-of-bounds lines. And I don't know if this is something we could do, but clearly having space under the basket was quite nice in many ways. I thought it looked good, it felt good, and I know the players appreciated it, but I, I loved some of the things that we saw, and I wouldn't be surprised to see some of them apply going forward. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. It has to be. Hard right side. Unable to get that one. Johnson with some nice D. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Here's D, and he jams it with authority. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look. And that's exactly how you draw it up. P passes to Clark. Passes it to Z. Hits the jumper. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Now a timeout called by Florida. You got to like what P has done in this game. You know, that defense is helpless right now. I mean, he's got their number and he knows it. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, P. And he's had more dunks in this game than you can count. The, the D has looked like they're just standing still. Uh, he keeps blowing by them and finishing with that highlight reel material. Looking at who's out there now for the Cavaliers. Z's checked in for P. Q comes in for J. T's checked in for T. And J's subbed in for Clark. Now the pass to B. Here's the three. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Z's got rebound number eight now on the night. J, the pass to Z. Virginia working the ball around. 139 left in the fourth. Pass to J. To the paint. Here's Z. Comes up empty from the left block. Florida trails by 19. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Cavaliers. When you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough to stop the hot shooters. Exactly, Kevin. They were lethal from deep. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And a team's depth is always a factor in games like this. And what a tremendous game. Maybe even a, a bit of a surprise to see the numbers for P. Boy, I liked how he mixed it up on the glass. Wasn't afraid to get in there and do the dirty work. Showed some real grit and toughness tonight. Passes it to Z. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Jay. Again, the miss by Virginia. And Florida with the possession, trailing by 19. Lane passes to Glover. Now here's Payne. Takes it inside. The stupendous finish in traffic. He had to battle for that lay-in. Excellent, tough defense, but he found a way to get it down anyway. We see the Cavaliers get the win here. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And, you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps, and the execution was flawless. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now.
For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.